G'day guys, Joe Cross here, and joining me today is the founder and CEO of Nama, Dan Sheen. How are you, Dan? I'm fantastic, Joe. How are you? I'm excellent, mate. We are going to show you here today with the Nama cold press juicer just how versatile this juicer is. We are going to share with you a nut milk. Yes, we're going to make nut milk with this juicer. We're going to make an almond and pecan nut milk. We've got a bunch of little things we're going to throw in there. We got the recipe off my very good friend, Tracy Sloan, over at juicingrecipes.com. Dan, what's in this recipe? In this recipe, Joe, we have almonds and pecans that have been soaked overnight. We have a two inch sliver of vanilla pod. Right. You could also substitute that with vanilla extract. And we split that vanilla pod just down the center just to release it a little bit when it goes through the juicer, right? Correct. We've got four dates that we've pitted. Be sure to take the pits out. Yep. Trap for young players, that one leaving the pips in. No, no, not good. We've got a bit of sea salt that we can use to flavor. Right. And then we've got four cups of water. Okay, let's just go through that ratio. Really important for you at home. What we did overnight, but you can if you want, just use four hours. We soaked one cup of almonds and one cup of pecans. So we're going to put two cups of nuts against four cups of filtered water, right? That's correct, Joe. Okay, now one of the great things I love about the Nama cold press juicer is just how quiet it is. And we're using exactly the same equipment that you would normally make a juice in, right? That's correct. All right, so the best way to do this is to take your soaked almonds and pecan nuts and just very slowly put them up here and just put them into the chute and there's just very simply have them fall down and they're going to start. Now what I'll do is Dan's going to pass me the water. He's going to pass me the water. All right, well, do you want to put your... Yeah, I'll give you a Go hand ahead, up. because it's something you can do at home. You don't need two people for this, but I've got Dan here, so we may as well make use of the extra hand. And we start doing this, and you will take a look. If you have a look in the hopper, you can already see the nut milk is started to be created. Look at that. This is just fantastic. Gone are the days of having to get the bag out and blending them and all the mess that makes. This is just so simple. Straight into the hopper. Look at that. And the Nama juicer is making child's play of these nuts, absolutely <laughs> crushing them and smashing them and extracting out on them. Now, we're going to take a bit of a break because... We're starting to see that this is starting, my, my hopper is fine. I'm going to put like one of those, it's a good idea, Dan. Let's Maybe do throw another, another one. date in and maybe some of that so vanilla extract. Let's do that. Just because put that whole pot in. That whole pot goes in. Because what we want to do is we want to see, one of the great things about this Nama cold press juicer is that in the hopper, by having this closed, it's mixing it for us. And just take a look at the dryness of this pulp that's coming out. Absolutely fantastic. Guys, zoom in, take a look at this detail. Have a look at this beautiful almond milk and pecan milk with dates and vanilla. Just sensational. So you're seeing that start to come out there. And we've still got more to go. So let's pour that water through there. Now let's finish off our two cups because we're about halfway through our, our, our soaked almonds and pecan nuts. And I'm going to keep pouring those in there like that. Dan, talk us through why this juicer is better than other juicers on the market in your opinion, particularly how versatile it is. Well, one of the key reasons why we think it's so versatile, Joe, is that we're able to do nut milks like this. I mean, who, who doesn't love the flavor of a great nut milk? Something that you can do at home, you don't have to buy it in a grocery store. Absolutely, and, and it tastes unbelievable. And, unbelievable. And we're able to do any type of nut. So whether you like almonds, you like walnuts, you like pecans, you like macadamia nuts, we can do any type of nut exactly the same way. So feel free to substitute as you feel, um, as you feel necessary. But I can just take, I can smell it. I wanna get some of that salt in the next time we put some water in down. We don't wanna, we don't wanna like miss out on our salt. So let's put, Let's put this down here. I'm going to throw those down. Stand by relays. Okay, let's put some salt down there, mate. Perfect. Little, little just put it on the top because the water's going to flush it down. Great. And just, just a few pinches. Just, yeah, okay, just go slow. I need that water for the okay. rest of my nuts, um, almond and pecans, and they're going in the hopper. Good teamwork here, mate. Thank you very much. Oh, oh the rest of the water. There you go. Yeah, and I've got one more of my dates to go through here. Okay, and then we just finish off with the water and you can sort of see what we're going to do is we're going to get a lot more than four cups of almond milk because in those soaked nuts and almond and pecans overnight, they've soaked up a lot of water. So you'll find in the morning it's a lot more than just two cups. 
All right, take a look at that. That is sensational. There it is. There's no more bag filters, cloths, blending. There's none of that. It's not necessary. This is just simply so simple. And take a look. I'm going to show you this before we do our pour. Just have a look at the pulp of those almonds and pecans. Look at that, and that is really dry, super dry. You can sort of see it just falling off my fingers there. And Joe, people pay a lot of money for, for, for almond flour. Almond and flour. For, and for nut flour. So the thing with this is you could actually use it for baking. A lot of, of gluten-free baking calls for this awesome. type of flour. Fantastic, you, you can absolutely, no need to waste. No need to waste it. All right, let's have a pour here. I can smell, I mean, one thing you guys can't do at home, I know is unfortunately we haven't worked out how to get smell down the line, but I can smell the vanilla extract big time. I'm going to pour that in there just a little bit there for Dan to taste, and I'm going to have my one. So, Thank Dan, you, why don't you Thank pick you. that one up? Oh my gosh, I can't. Thank wait. you, Tracy, for this great recipe. I hope you guys get a chance to try this at home. Um, great, let's have a taste test. Oh, thumbs up. Sensational. Really, really sensational. So, remember, you can take this kind of almond pecan milk, you can do cashews, you can do all sorts of nuts, oats, you can do a lot. And this can be a base for your smoothies. If you want to make smoothies in the morning, it's awesome. It's just a great drink to have generally, and it's healthy. It's like a great ritual. It's all about what Nama is about, wellness rituals. Dan, thanks for stopping by, mate. I really appreciate it. If someone wants to get their hands on a Nama juicer, what do they need to do? They need to go to namawell.com, learn more about the product, learn more about our company, learn more about recipes and right. other services that we offer. And they can sign up there and we're delivering all over America and all over Canada and other parts of the world, but you've got to make sure that you've got a 110 volt. If you've got 220 volt, hang tight. It's coming in the near future. But for now, it's Joe Cross and the founder of this amazing juicer, Dan Sheen, signing out with a nut milk and a big juice on. Juice on. Delicious.